So, if you're Al Jermaine Sterling, what do you do now? We all saw what happened at the weekend. He took an illegal knee. He was down on the floor for quite a while. He was arguably down on the floor longer than someone that gets knocked out and then the fight finishes via knockout. So he took the illegal knee. He was down on the floor for quite a long time. I don't think I hold that against him. And I think if I was Al Jermaine Sterling and there was a question as to whether I could continue or whether I couldn't, I wouldn't stick around to find out. No referee, I can't continue. I have been hit by an illegal move. I am discombobulated, disorientated, any other words you want to use. I don't quite know where I'm at. I'm not sure if I can continue, so I'm not going to continue. He did this, not me. Exit stage left, wrap the belt around my waist, let's go home. That's what he did. Did he go about it the right way? No. Did he milk it a little bit? Maybe. We're not in his head. We don't know. What we do know is it was a very hard knee. It was very illegal. And he's perfectly within his rights to stay down. And he did. So what do you do now if you're Al Jermaine Sterling? I'll tell you what you do now. He did a, a post-fight interview. And I don't hold this against him because... After something like that happens, you're not really with all your senses. You haven't got anything planned. You weren't really thinking about this outcome at all. But what he should have done is come, and he can still do this now, is go, PTR I'm cheated. I'm better than him. He knew I was winning the fight. He took the easy way out. It didn't even hurt that much. And now I've got his belt. Ha, ha, ha. He should turn heel immediately. He should make fun of everyone else in the division that he's got the belt without even having to beat the champion. He should raise that thing above his head, twirl around in a circle and take the piss out of anyone that goes near him. He should milk this until the cows come home because controversy creates cash and everyone loves a heel. I would be unbearable if this was me and that's how you do it. You all of a sudden TJ Dillashaw's piping up Corey Sanhagen's piping up. Henry Cejudo's piping up. He's got all of these people coming at him. And instead of being... And I saw he, he kind of fired back at TJ and, and made fun of his doping and this and that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Send him loads of laughing emojis about the fact that you're the champion. You didn't even have to beat anyone. He got knocked out by Henry Cejudo and then sat on the side for two years. Think. Use this to your advantage. Be a prick. Be a prick. 